Hey guys, it's Shodi and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a little unboxing slash review of this Joseph and Stacey bag that I ordered. And it is my very first impression because I have not opened this gigantic box, which I hope I'm not showing any information. It's got some really modernized, fashionable kind of Instagram bags and colors and really cool scissor symbol, which I do have my scissors here, no pun intended. I hope that's not dangerous. <laughs> so let's get into the opening and the review so they shipped it to me on a Thursday and I got it on a Tuesday considering it's over the weekend and I think these bags are all from Korea if I'm not mistaken because the website is all in Korean but there is a English button that you can change to so if we open it oh it's pretty nicely packaged Oh my god, it even comes in like a dust bag. This is cool. Very nicely protected. Yep, and I just dropped everything. Oh my god, this is so cute. The little brand, even on the dust bag. Let's undo this. Take the bag out. This is a little packaging box, bubble wrap bag, dust bag. So I guess it's very nicely protected. Are we ready? Oh my god. I really, really like that scissor symbol there. Let me show you the actual item. That one there. Inside, we have more paper. What do we have here? Oh my god, is there like a little clutch? Oh my god, that is the cutest. It's got the branding embossed there. I don't know if you can see. It's just like an endless pit hole. Look at that. There's like so much stuff in there. So, what's this? Oh, there's so many things. Oh no, I think this is the strap to hook onto like inside of here. Can you see like a little D ring? So then you can like make it a handheld bag as well. There we go. And there's like little tassels on the end. So it's just a good catch all for everything and you can just dump it all in there and you can like pick it out. So it's kind of like a good alternative to my never full. It's like more stuff in there. What is this? It's got a little detail to match the bag. I believe this is the same thing. I thought it was stretchy for a second, but it's not. My favorite is the crossbody strap. So I honestly think I will keep this strap probably in tucked in the bag, but I'll use the crossbody strap the most for sure. I just love being hands free. That's actually what the bag looks like. I love that little scissors there up the front. It's so like minimal and like simple and it doesn't have like the big branding in front so people will like don't really know what it is unless they know if that makes sense. So here's what the bag looks like on me. If you're a bit taller or if you want to wear it like cross body. So there is five adjustments on the strap so I'm just gonna put it a little bit shorter I think that's a good length actually it's like that so this is what it looks like handheld so I just put on the big thick black strap it gives it more of an edgy urban look I love the versatility of this bag so it's like that and it's Super comfortable actually. You can probably like switch it up and use it in some other bags if you like. I like it. Three different strap options. That's actually what I love the most about it. So you've got the long body strap, you've got the handheld, and you've got the black thick shoulder strap to go with it. And I think that's a bit excessive on the bag. And I'll probably use as a long one like this the most. And occasionally I'll put it on the cook of my arm if I need to. The little pouch that it comes with, you can kind of just put your wallet and change and your essentials in here. But I've got to say, the craftsmanship on this bag is really nice. Like, look at all the stitching, it's like perfectly done and it feels really soft. 
do love how it's got the silver inside because you've got a lot of items inside you don't want it to be like a dark hole and you don't know what you're looking at but the reflective silver makes the inside of the bag really bright and you can see exactly where everything is so that's it for my video today i hope you guys enjoy watching this little unboxing slash review of the joseph and stacy bag i'll leave a link to the website and the instagram down below and you can go check them out they come in a lot of colors like a red a black um this beigey kind of color this video is not sponsored I'm not getting paid to say anything. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button down below. I would love for you to join my little YouTube family. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Peace.